Alright, so this is a review for the Monster Squad, uh, an old childhood classic of mine. I saw this back when I was about seven or eight. I fell in love with this movie and I've been a fan of it ever since. I must have seen this movie, like in between then and now, I must have seen this movie probably at least uh, 20 times since uh, that first time I saw it and it's still just as awesome today as it was uh, back when I was a kid. Uh, the whole point of the movie is that uh, Dracula and his fellow monsters are after this amulet, which is a deciding power in between the forces of good and evil. And what it does every hundred years is that if it's not uh, contained enough to properly, um, or if a spell is not activated to tell it what to take in, it will open up a portal to limbo, and then it will suck in everything around it. Um, and Dracula wants to get his hands on it. And he's been trying to do that for the last hundred years. Uh, and we get kind of a back story in the start where uh, Von Helsing tried to get it from him back in the late 1800s, but, you know, wind up being sucked into limbo along with everybody else that went with him. Um, <clears throat> in the present day, there are a group of kids who are obsessed with horror movie monsters and monster trivia in, in general. Uh, and these kids wind up being the heroes of the movie against uh, Dracula and his forces of darkness. I will say hands down that these kids are some of the best that I've seen in any movie and a lot of the character stuff that's done with them is great. Uh, these kids are what make the moment in this movie and you know besides the fact that they might swear a little too much, uh, this is really a family oriented movie. Um, there is violence in it to be sure, there is killing, but it's toned down uh, quite severely, but it is still a good movie to enjoy if you're like a dire uh, horror movie fan and you have kids, you can still sit down and enjoy this with them. Um, as far as the kids go in the group, uh, Sean is the leader, he's awesome, uh, Rudy is awesome, Fat Kid is fucking awesome. Um, Pete, who is the little boy, and uh, Phoebe, the little girl. Uh, a lot of the moments in this movie revolve around them and Fat Kid in particular, and the ones concerning the two five-year-olds are like the cutest stuff throughout this movie, and usually there will be the, the next to funniest gags with them. The funniest, of course, belonging to Fat Kid, because if you are a fan of this movie, you already know the the Wolfman's got nards joke, uh, and that still ne never gets old. Um, there's, there's just a lot of great moments throughout this movie. I could sit there babbling on about them, but you just have to see them for yourself to understand how great they are. Um, as far as it goes with the monsters, uh, the guy playing Dracula is like this hilarious, over-the-top type of evil. He, he comes off kind of like this old kindly uncle that you might have where he's like nice to one minute and then he can just like be like a very cheesy type of evil the next because like he did good with the performance in this movie but I never really found him coming off like uh, creepy with the role which is pretty good uh, Frankenstein's monster in this movie is excellent uh, played by the great uh, Tom Noonan uh, the only other thing that I know him from was uh, playing Kane in Robocop 2 and there's kind of a funny backstory on the, the special features of this DVD talking about that how serious of an actor he was that uh, he didn't want the kids knowing him as Tom. He would always be in the Frankenstein makeup so they could be a little more in all of them. And I think that kind of works well when they're, you know, they're, they're kids. They don't really uh, understand a lot of uh, adults then. And sometimes they are a little smarter than adults on some things. But, you know... Uh, the reaction that they have around him as Frankenstein is pretty genuine, and it works well off when they're acting in this movie. Um, Dracula is awesome. Frankenstein is awesome. The Wolfman is pretty good. 
Uh, but I will have to say, as far as the redesigns for these monsters go for this particular time, uh, the Gilman has uh, the most badass of the redesigns. Uh, it it kind of reminds me a little bit because there was a monster that showed up on the Power Rangers back when I was a kid. Like, if anybody remembers when Lord Zed showed up, the Gilman kind of looks like this monster now, but you know it's still pretty cool. And he's got like this piranha head on this crocodile man's body. It just looks awesome. Um, and there there are a lot of hilarious gags and references throughout this movie for like old uh, horror movie monster tropes, uh, which is great. Uh, there's like the when uh, Sean gets the, the diary from his mother and said uh, Mr. Alucard had uh, called asking about it. Uh, you know, the Alucard spelled backwards is Dracula, and, and it just starts off from there. Um, I think if there's a small matter that I have to fault this movie in is that uh, the mummy and the guild man, who also wind up being two of the least interesting of the old uh, movie monsters, uh, get very little screen time. Dracula, Wolfman, and uh, Frankenstein all have equal amounts of screen time throughout this movie. Uh, there's a small montage where all five monsters gather together in kind of like this weird, over-the-top, cool moment. But then, after that, uh, the Mummy and the Gill Man only show up twice more throughout this movie. They show up once to, you know, kind of pull a, a cute, scary joke on Pete. And only once towards the end of the movie where they're killed off. Slight disappointment. I kind of wish we could have done something a little more with them, but that would probably have hampered the story down. But, you know, aside from that small qualm, this is still a damn good movie. Uh, if you haven't seen this, I would highly recommend it. If you have seen it with your... or if you're a horror movie fan like uh, uh, J.R. or J. Sorry is, and she did a couple of reviews a while back where she watched uh, a couple of horror movies with the kids. Uh, this is probably up the alley. It's not great in terms of, like, blood or anything like that, but it still is a pretty fun watch, so go and check it out. The only thing I'm sorry about is that I feel like this should have been as well-known as what Gremlins was from my childhood, but, you know, I digress. Just go and watch it and see how awesome it is for yourself.